Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm just going to go through this uh, acid-base equilibrium question uh, just to give you an idea how to solve a buffer question using a little shortcut. All right. Okay, so um, let, let's look at this. Calculate the final pH when 20 cm cube of a base is added to uh, ethanoic acid. Okay, you must be able to notice uh, that uh, if you look at the, the, the concentration, they're the same. Uh, but you actually have more acid than the base, right? You have actually more acid than the base, the strong base. So you must at least know that the final product is actually a buffer. Okay, the final product is a buffer. Why is a buffer? Because the weak acid is in excess, right? So in the end, you will have some weak acid and some salt. So this is what you call the buffer. All right, so normally what I do is I try to imagine the graph first, right? pH versus volume of sodium hydroxide okay just imagine this graph okay um i'm just gonna put down the values okay so you started with this uh, weak acid okay so this is what the graph will look like is that so you started with weak acid and this weak acid has a volume of 25 cm cube and a concentration of 0.1 mole per cm cube right so when you neutral when it's neutralized by the base you form the salt over here okay you're gonna form this salt Right. Okay. So, uh, since you we, we the first thing you need to try to find out is actually the concept the the volume over here, the volume of a base that is needed to completely neutralize the acid. So, um, this is the weak acid. It will react with the base. All right. The weak acid will react with the base. You form the salt. All right. I'm just gonna write it down very quickly. Okay. So you know that actually they react in a ratio of one to one. Okay, I'm going to just close this first. I'm going to use it later on. Right? Okay. So you know that they react in ratio 1 to 1. All right? So since the volume of acid is 25 cm cube, concentration is 0.1 mole per dm cube. So, and the concentration of the base is 0.1 mole per dm cube. So in order, since they react in 1 to 1 ratio, right, you must be able to see that the volume of the base that is needed to completely neutralize the acid must also be 25 cm cube. Right, so that's why I know straight away I'll actually write here as uh, 25. Okay, that's the first thing I always tend to do. Right, okay, so where is 20? Okay, where is 20? So this is the maximum buffer, right? This is the maximum buffer is 12.5, but we're not concerned with the maximum buffer, we're actually looking at this point here, right? This point here, okay, so this point here is 20, right? So this is this is still a buffer, but it's not your maximum buffer. You would have actually more salt. All right, and less acid at this point. So since you know it's a buffer, you still have to use a buffer equation. So what equation are you going to use? This is the equation you're supposed to use. pH equals to pKa plus, sorry, plus log salt over acid. So the salt is CH3COO minus the salt over the acid. CH3 COOH. Can you see that? So the salt over acid. Okay, so let's plug in the values. pKa, I think they gave you the Ka. Ka is 10 to the power minus 5, right? K is 10 to the power minus 5, as you can see. So pKa is minus log Ka. So minus log Ka is actually um sorry. Okay, minus log Ka. Yeah? Minus log 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, actually, minus log K 10 to the power minus 5 is actually 5. Okay, this value is actually 5. All right, this is the value is actually five. Okay, uh, but what's more important is we're gonna find out the ratio between the the salt over the acid without any calculation. Okay, without any calculation, so you must understand that the the twenty cm cube, right? The twenty cm cube of the base that are added, it will completely react with the acid. Okay, it will completely react with the acid, and all of it will form the salt. So when I added the base from here to twenty. All of it will have reacted to form the salt. Okay, so I'm going to write down this place is the salt. All right, and it, it's actually twenty. Okay, I'm going to put here twenty. All right. Okay, just indication of where it is. Okay, so oh, at this point you realize that you still need another five more cm cube of the base, and this five more cm cube of the base is going to react with the remaining acid. So I'm going to write down here acid. And what volume that's needed is actually 5. Okay, 5 cm cube of uh, the base is needed to react with the remaining acid. So you can see over here you have more salt and less acid. 
right? You can see that you have more salt and less acid at the point uh, because you have already crossed the halfway mark. At this point here, the concentration of the salt and the concentration of the acid will be equal, but you've already crossed that, that halfway mark. So which means uh, on this side here, when you add 20, you have more salt than acid. Okay, so I'm trying to show you that what's the ratio. I hope it's clear enough. Okay, the ratio you can see from here is 20 is to 5. Okay, you can see that? It's actually 20 is to 5. So I, I'm trying to do this question without actually uh, doing any calculation. All right, without in, in terms of calculating, calculation to get the ratio. So you can see from the graph, you can see that this is 20 is to 5, which is actually uh, 4. Okay? okay, if we have to do the long calculation, we'll do the same thing. All right, it's like I, C, F, okay? So the initial amount of acid that I'm doing in terms of moles, huh? volume times concentration, you get 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 3. So this is the number of moles of the weak acid. So when I added 20 cmq of the base, the amount of base added is 2 times 10 to the power minus 3. All right. So finally, they will react. Okay, you can see that the base, all the base will react, and this amount of base reacted to form the salt. Can you see that? Okay, it reacted with to form the salt. All right, I mean, yeah. So let's see over here. Two minus two times ten to the power minus three. All right. So finally, here is zero point five times ten to the power minus three. Here's zero two times ten to the power minus three. Okay, so uh, you realize that this is the amount of salt we uh, at point at this point, right? At this point, this amount of salt, right? And how about the amount of acid? Actually, do you notice that this is the amount of acid remaining, right? So actually, you need another five more cmq of the base to react with this remaining acid. So if you did the calculation, right? We use the formula again. Uh, you realize that pH equals to pKa, which is 5, plus log salt over acid. So the salt, as you can see, is 2 times 10 to the power of minus 3, all right, over the acid, okay? And if you simplify it, you realize that this whole value is still equal to 4, okay, which is the same as what we calculated just now, uh, or what we can we actually observe from the graph. All right, so my point is this. So actually, if you can sketch the graph, all right, you can literally tell what is the ratio of the buffer between the weak acid and uh, between the salt and the acid. Okay, you can tell this ratio by looking at the graph, okay, without any, uh, even any calculation. Right, so maybe you can use this as a checking system, right, uh, when you do buffer questions. As long as it's within the buffer region, you can tell what is the ratio by looking at the graph. Okay, I hope this has been helpful uh, in order to help you to understand uh, buffers a bit better.